Hi Aquarius, welcome to your energy check-in. I hope all of you are doing well. So today we're um, going to do a past, present, future kind of energy check-in. Uh, thank you so much for the love and support on my channel. If you are subscribed to the channel, welcome back. Um, all right, let's just flow with the energies. This is a timeless read. So whenever you come across the reading is when the messages were meant to find you. So we'll trust uh, spirit and universe on, on timing. All right, I'm going to open up by looking at energies that have receded from your life. So the recent past, show me what are the energies that have receded from the Aquarius Collective in the recent past. Let's see, I'm going to get three cards for you here. We've got the Hermit. Okay. We've got the Tower, Major Arcana. So, okay, what's going on, Aquarius? Big changes. And the Strength, a third Major Arcana. You've got the Hanged Man, another Major Arcana at the bottom of the deck. So for those of you that are not familiar with Major Arcanas, a tarot deck is made up of 78 cards, out of which 22 are what we call the Major Mysteries or the Major Arcana. So these are energies that usually take a little bit longer to shake out. Um, they are sort of the universe's big lessons uh, for us to process and to go through. Spirit just gave me a heads up, so that's great. <laughs> um, some of you in the recent past have gone through a bit of an unexpected and maybe a sudden change in your life um, and I'll read overall energies and obviously where I see money and career or love I will point that out but for now I feel you've gone through a big shake-up in your life in the recent past um, and you've been reflecting in the recent past on this big change it has needed you to have a lot of courage to go to places that perhaps have not been examined in quite some time. And it's not easy to examine those energies. You know, if, if it's been quite some time, it's in our deep, deep past, deep, deep history. Um, it's not easy to go that deep and investigate. So uh, firstly, I mean, I'm very proud of you because this kind of work is not easy. This feels like a lot of inner work. Plus these are big energies, major arcana. So they take a lot of time. Um, and let me say it like this with the major arcanas the best thing you can do is be prepared for them and have the information around it so it's great you're here watching tarot so this is a bit of a heads up or obviously these are energies in the past so you might have seen this coming in tarot reads or you know in your energy you know you don't need to be a tarot reader you don't need to watch a tarot reading our gut instinct is very well developed to pick up on these energies so you might have seen it coming in and it's taken a lot out of you to introspect where spirit wanted you to introspect. Um, could be a big change. Um, could be some huge epiphanies that have come into your life in the recent past. Some big realizations, some truths about your belief system, how perhaps you have been getting in your own way or perhaps you've been selling yourself short or sabotaging situations. Um, there could have been a period of separation from a partner or a loved one because the hermit can sometimes indicate that. But it's all in the spirit of bringing more wisdom and more enlightenment to your life. So that is, I guess, you know, the silver lining in this period that seems, it seems, I mean, for the majority of you that it's been a bit heavy, right? Because it's been a lot of inwards work. What's the energy around you in the present moment? What's the energy around you in the present moment? four of wands okay it's about stability some of you are contemplating your marriage a significant relationship that you're in or were in something about your home your family home where you grew up your hometown uh but but largely i'm picking up like stability like bringing more structure to your stability or thinking a lot about your long-term stability so it could be investing in a house, thinking about buying a house, thinking about saving money to be able to buy a home one day. It's that kind of energy. You have the three of swords. Yeah, I was kind of getting that energy from the hermit god. There is this some kind of, okay, six of cups. Yeah, there is somebody from the past that you, mm, a cycle just, a cycle has ended with a soulmate or what felt like a soulmate connection. Um. So I'm picking up on love energies now. I'm picking up on a heartbreak, a separation period, um, a very significant relationship maybe came to a close. 
which has kind of left you in this hermit mode and given you a lot of opportunity to reflect and think about what happened, what went down. This could be somebody that is connected to your hometown or to a house. Something about a house is coming through. I don't know if that has a special significance for some of you, um, or maybe a place that you visited with this person. There is significant pain and loss associated right now in your current energy. What's coming in in the near future? And of course, then I'll get you some clarifiers and we have oracles. So um, let's let's build the spread from here. What's coming in in the near future for Aquarius? What's coming in in the near future for Aquarius? The Nine of Pentacles. The Justice card, Libra energy showing up. So this could run in all the way to like October or so. And then I'm seeing the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're closing a difficult cycle, which is nice. You know, you're closing a difficult cycle in the in the near future. I see healing come about because after the Three of Swords, uh, you get the Four of Swords. And I feel in the near future, you have an opportunity or you will heal from whatever it is that's causing you a lot of pain right now. There is justice in the karmic sense, in the energetic realms justice is being served okay so karmic scales are getting balanced in the near future a very difficult cycle is coming to a close in the near future so i would celebrate this if i were you you also have money expanding you have more money you have more focus on your monetary standing in the near future with the nine of pentacles there's something of a finality coming to a situation in the near future so it, and I don't know which way, you know, we'll pull some clarifiers before I can tell you which way it can go, but whatever situation has been left maybe unfinished or some loose ends, all of that is going to get nicely wrapped up. Okay. So in whichever fashion, you know, either things work out or either there's a final closure to something, but I see something coming to a close in the near future. I'm going to get you a few clarifiers. Let's go to the recent past. What's the tower energy? What happened in the recent past? Help me see the tower energy in the recent past. Nine of pentacles. Four of cups. And you have the page of swords. Um, eight of cups. I think either you walked away from something or someone or somebody else walked away from you because there was a threat to your independence in the recent past. And you weren't so sure whether you were quite ready to lose this sense of independence or you needed to focus on your work and something or someone was distracting you from it. So you felt a bit disappointed with the situation at hand. And I don't think communication was super clear. I think there was some communication around it with the page of swords, but not a whole lot. And that's when the universe stepped in with the tower card and removed whatever needed to be removed, perhaps from your life at that point. But there was a big shakeup in your energy. And I think you saw it coming. But I think the magnitude of how it happened was perhaps greater than what you expected it to be or how it left you feeling, the sense of disappointment. Uh, the Four of Cups can also sometimes mean boredom or disappointment, but something came crashing down to get you out of the state of limbo. You know, sometimes we are in things that are just dragging and we know that, okay, we're not connecting as much to this particular situation, but we let it run its course because either we don't want to confront it, either we don't want to have that honest chat. And sometimes, you know, we are missing or lacking the courage to confront it up front. But universe stepped in, it got you that courage, it got you that um, depth to examine the situation in the recent past. Okay, and I feel that that's what led to um, this three of swords and the four of wands. Okay, let's just go to the three of swords. Show me more on the three of swords. You have the four of wands yet again. So yeah. Okay, give me two more. We have the lovers. So definitely something about a love connection and the five of wands. Okay. Um, there was a choice. There was a choice in this love situation. For some of you, this could be a marriage that you were in or a very significant connection or somebody that meant a lot to you because this feels like a soulmate kind of connection with the lovers card showing up. 
there was some conflict, some inner confusion. You weren't quite sure perhaps what this meant to you. But I think you were perhaps trying to figure it out or you thought you would figure it out, but something came to a screeching halt. And that's what led to this three of swords. Hmm. Okay, just give me one second. I'm getting guided to go a little bit deeper. The star card is showing up. So your energy is showing up pretty strong in your own reading. Um, show me more on this love situation, please. Show me more on this love situation. The ace of swords and the moon. So if this is a no contact kind of situation and if you have broken communication with this person or the person has not been communicating with you, I do see in cancer season, which is pretty much starting by June 22nd. So by next week, I do see communication coming in on this connection with the Ace of Swords. Okay, so what does this person want to say? What is this communication about? What does this person want to say? What is this communication about? Uh, the hanged man. So something was suspended in air. They've had a different perspective. Temperance healing, um, the Wheel of Fortune. So three major arcanas yet again. So I think a cycle is closing, a cycle is beginning on this connection. I do think that you will have the opportunity to have another cycle with this person if you so desire. Uh, I do see the summer season being quite significant for you. So starting um, next week, we have the solstice. So I think after June 22nd, uh, there is a strong potential and strong opportunity for this cycle to come back around because the wheel of fortune can sometimes mean that combined with the temperance and the hanged man either you or this person has had a major epiphany a major change of perspective on this connection and i feel they want to talk to you or you want to share the change in perspective that you've had aquarius uh because i do see the ace of swords i see the moon which is giving me cancer energies um and cancer season starts next week okay uh, I want to go a little bit into this person's intentions with you. This person's intentions with you. This person's intentions with you. The emperor. So they want to bring some structure to an unstructured situation. The five of pentacles and the ten of cups. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm getting this feeling you were in a very, this is a very significant relationship for some of you. You were married to this person and they want to talk to you about how they felt this sense of loss and their intention is to bring this connection back into harmony with the emperor card is bringing structure into what seems like an all over the place kind of situation and bring happiness and harmony back with this 10 of cups. So there's something about family, perhaps I'm not, you can reverse the energies, you know, obviously tarot is a very intuitive tool. So maybe I'm picking up on your energies or maybe this is your person's energy, but I think both of you or one of you has had some kind of major perspective change on the situation and there is going to be communication around it on how um, harmony needs to be brought back because I think both you and them are feeling that sense of loss, feeling that sense of pain, discomfort, heartache, disappointment, uh, loss, you know. I'm going to go to the romance angels because they're getting, uh, I'm getting guided to dive a little bit deeper into this love energy. Show me more. Show me more on this love connection for Aquarius. Show me more. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So spirit is um, kind of endorsing the help of friends on this connection. So maybe you have some common friends who you can reason out with, bounce off uh, worth waiting for so divine timing is at play here and that is what was the wheel of fortune kind of energy for me so i think uh, you have the potential to have another go at this if you so want finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so we did see the five of pentacles so it could be that one person walked out because money and career was more important and i think i i, I said that in your recent past there was something that was threatening your independence or you needed to focus on work or the other person needed to focus on work and money. So that has hampered this connection, that has impacted this connection. But divine timing is at work in your love life. And I'm, I have a feeling, a very strong feeling that this person or you are going to have an opportunity to reconnect and have a conversation. And whether, you know, this goes anywhere or what you decide to do with it obviously that's up to you you always have free will but I do see a new cycle on this connection 
Okay, show me more, show me more, show me more. You have success and you have perfect timing. Yeah, so I think this perfect timing will come in divine timing. So spirit will, will guide you when you need to redirect and choose a new direction or choose a new perspective on this connection. But I do see a big shift in this energy that's making you feel kind of heavy and all of that. Uh, let's just check the energy that's around this love connection, the energy that's around this love connection. First chakra, Archangel Michael. Mm -hmm. Yep, so your root chakra. There's something in your gut. You need to trust your gut when it comes to this connection. Uh, attachment. So this is literally the five of pentacles card in the energy oracle. So somebody feeling left out in the cold and you have the angel of strength which is very similar to the leo card that you got right so leo season i think this connection has the potential to be strengthened to be brought back into balance if you so desire aquarius uh let me just go a little bit more into your incoming energies with the nine of pentacles justice and the ten of wands show me more on the justice card what's coming in in the near future for aquarius with the justice card Ace of Cup. Yep. Here's that brand new beginning in love. The Five of Swords. Mm -hmm. But I think you might have a few difficult conversations with this person. Page of Wands, but it ultimately results in good news. So I think you have the devil. You're very attracted to this person. I think both of you feel a bit like obsessed with one another. It's, it's like that attachment that uh, even you've tried to reason it out you've become very rational and cerebral about this but this connection is here to stay or this connection needs a conversation or needs a little bit of ironing out is what I'm hearing spirits say um, and that is what brings justice so I think there's a big shift coming in because fives indicate changes and big shifts um, in the tarot so there's a big shift in com in the communication style perhaps on this connection uh, and I feel there's some good news coming in for you on this connection. So um, I'm going to get you um, a few cards for your money and career as well, since that showed up in your reading with the Nine of Pentacles. Let me see. But obviously, you know, I, I'm an intuitive reader. I'm guided by the energies. I'm guided by my spirit team. Uh, and they wanted me to get into love um, with that original spread. But let's go into money and career. I want to see what are the energies around Aquarius when it comes to their money and career. What are the energies around Aquarius when it comes to their money and career? You have the sun. Very nice. Money and career is looking good. You're getting some kind of epiphany or wake up moment. Ooh, the star. That is your own energy, Aquarius. And you have the six of pentacles. So if some of you have been waiting on money, somebody owes you money, I think you will receive it. Or if you are in a bit of a tight spot when it comes to finances, somebody comes in to help you just when you need it. So this brings in that happiness, that joy, that playfulness back into your money and career. So I think it's looking really good. You get help when you least expect it. Let's see near future, money and career in the near future. Money and career in the near future. Money and career in the near future. Knight of Pentacles. Nice. I like that. Judgment. Big energy is Aquarius. And you have the Page of Cups. So you're getting an offer in the near future. You're getting an offer, which is a big wake up moment, which is a big success for you when it comes to money and career. It's a massive unblocking, unlocking, uh, something that has felt a bit stuck, felt a bit stagnant. I think all of that is coming into balance for you in the near future. Someone's taking a big chance on you. Someone's taking a bet and saying, you know what, I'm going to bet on you. I'm going to bet on your idea. If you're somebody who works for someone else, you might get new job offers coming in. A very stable offer is coming in. If you have your own business, I think you get some money or you get some kind of resource or some kind of support that helps you unlock your money and career sector. So that's looking really nice as well. And I do think that if some of you have had some conflicting relationships in the money and career sector, I do see an apology coming in as well. Um, I'm going to wrap up your reading with some overall guidance from the wisdom of the Oracle. What would you like Aquarius to see? 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 You have a change in the wind. What did I say? I think a change in the wind is already like, you know, already underway with that tower energy that we saw in your recent past. So something's already shape shifting is the phrase that I heard. 
This could be your belief system, change of location, change of scenery, change of money and career. We definitely saw that change in your love situation. What else? You've got not for you. You're closing doors so that you can open the right ones now. Uh, you might have said yes to the wrong things in the past, and now you're going to say yes to the right things. Surrender pity. Amazing. So I think you're going to get something in a very unexpected fashion, and spirit is trying to put you in the right place at the right time in front of the right person or the right people. Uh, so divine timing, you know, that that part, like divine timing is at, is at play in your love life, also in your overall life. There's something you are being pre prepped and placed at just the right time in the right place um with the right people around Aquarius uh, I see some really big changes coming in but big positive changes for you both in love and both like in money and career overall is looking very positive I know you've gone through a bit of a difficult time so hang in there Aquarius there's a change in the wind and it's for the better I wish you all the best thank you so much for watching if this connected with you I request you to please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel take care bye-bye